we are pleased to have joining us today, we've got Casey Taylor, we've got Mason Taylor, and Wesley Kent. And uh, they're going to be representing the DeKalb County Fishing Team, competing in the Strike King Bassmaster High School National Championship, which is coming up. This tournament will be held August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd on Lake Chickamauga in Dayton, Tennessee. So guys, good to have you with us today. Uh, Casey, you are the boat captain, is that right? Yes. Sir. So are you, are you are you part of the competition, or are you just kind of coaching these guys, or so, how's that work? So basically, I'll be like the on the water taxi driver and the chauffeur for these boys, getting them from spot to spot, kind of helping them make the time management decisions on when we should go and when we should stay, and try to milk out area for another bite. Uh, pretty much, that's a uh, that's going to be my job, making sure they stay full of snacks and water and all the good stuff that's in between there. Okay, and so Mason and Casey, so you guys are related, right? Yes, sir. Yes, your, sir. your brothers, this right? This will be my younger brother. Okay, right? all right. And Wesley, um, good to have you with us as well. Yes, sir. Now, I'll let you, uh, let you guys kind of introduce yourselves and your background and uh, your level in school and that sort of thing. And so, of course, uh, Casey, you, you've completed school and you've been to college and all that. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. So okay. what do you do right now? So right now I do uh, side and gutters for myself here locally out of Smithfield. We, we put on a bunch of houses a year as far as the siding goes and then gutters as well. Uh, I enjoy fishing on the side there we, from wintertime uh, to summertime, pretty much any time in between as well. Okay, and, and Mason, tell us about your school experience. Um, I'm Mason Taylor. I'll be going in my senior year. And your parents are who? My parents are Jeff and Kim Taylor. They're over the Decay Fishing Team. Okay, and uh, of course Jeff is the, is still the, the head coach of that, right? Yes, sir. All yes. right. Is your mom involved in that too? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, all right. And so, Wesley, tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm Wesley Kent. I'll be a senior also at DeKalb County High School, and my parents are Kevin and Beth Kent. All right. Well, first tell us about how excited you are to be going to this next competitive event. This is a big deal, isn't it? It is. All right. Uh, Casey, well, Mason, we'll let you talk about that first, and then Wesley, we'll let you get in on that. We're very excited to go. We've worked hard all year fishing all, all across Tennessee and competing in different tournaments. And we've, we've uh, qualified for it twice. Uh, one way was uh, winning on a Hershey Priest, a state open, and then the Another way was we finished top ten in the points in the state for across Tennessee. So. All right, Wesley. Um, it's a uh, it's a true blessing. It uh, it truly is. We worked our tails off this year, and like he said, we did bust the top ten in the points this year in the state and uh, did win at Percy Priest. And uh, I honestly would like to thank the Lord for making this everything possible. And it's just it's truly going to be amazing. Hey, Casey, how long has the fishing team been in existence? So it's been, uh, it's been going on for several years now. Uh, my dad had started it whenever he got my younger sister was on a, a freshman in a high school there. So it's probably eight or nine years it's been, it's been going on now. And the high school fishing itself has been going on for far longer than that. It's had enough time to get a really good traction with the community and where kids do get scholarships and they do get full rides at the school. So it's it's another option. I mean, you see football, baseball, and all the major sports all the time, and the fishing kind of gets left out. Now this is now becoming a, another major sport where kids can get full rides and you know competitively uh, continue on in their future. So how long have you guys been fishing, so to speak, or at least competing as an angler? Uh, we'll start with you on that one, uh, Mason. I've been uh, competitively fishing for about about six years now, or this will be about this will be my fifth year actually. But I've been fishing as far as I can remember, probably since I've been five or six years old. It's I've always been doing that. Your folks probably instilled mm -hmm. that love yeah, into you. Yeah, my grandpa, they? my dad, and yeah, my brother. He's been <laughs> uh, taking me. It's a family tradition, it sort is. of. It, yeah. How about you, Wesley? Uh, I fish with my family my whole life, pretty much, um, but didn't. Didn't really get big into it to about my, uh, I started as an eighth grader and um, I, my sophomore year I kind of was playing football and baseball and quit all to fish and uh, I just thought I had a better uh, opportunity in life with fishing so that's what I've done. Okay and of course uh, 
Uh, Casey, uh, your uh, love for fishing goes back a ways too. In fact, you've you've had some success of your on your own, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It goes way back when I can remember my uh, grandpa taking me when I was five, six years old, catching a smallmouth down here on Center Hill, and then from there I went to Tennessee Tech for a year and uh, qualified for the college national championship. That's delayed an, an actual year behind whenever you're in school, and I've uh, went to the Potomac River and fished around there. I've been pretty much from one end of the country to the other end of the country, fishing different uh, big tournaments as far as uh, Toyota Series, uh, pretty much any of them in between. Yeah, so you've led an exciting angling life, oh, so for, to speak, for haven't sure, you? For sure, most definitely. <laughs> I've been blessed as far as getting able to be able to travel and the people that I've got to do it with over, over the time. So tell us how this competition works. In, in fishing tournaments. Uh, how do you get started in that? And how... So basically it's a relatively simple as far as the concept behind it. it. You're going out to try to catch five fish and you're going to try to bring them back in in the tournament hours and you're going for the biggest five you can catch. So it doesn't matter uh, you know which species as long as it's a bass you can, you can mix, mix, mix them up and bring them in like that but you just really need to have a boat and uh, the means of going back and forth and it, it takes some time to get good on the water as far as that goes you can't just you know jump in it and expect to win every every time because at least these guys that we fish against they're good mm -hmm. they're real good and uh it definitely just ta it takes time and experience to get to that level so in other sport sporting events football basketball baseball all the rest there's you have practices and correct, you, you get you, you, you train and all uh -huh. that stuff how do you prepare for a fishing tournament. I mean, you go out on the uh -huh. lake and and the and, and fish, right? Uh -huh. The same concept. Same concept. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you use as bait? Is there a standard? Are there, are there rules on that? Uh, one of you other guys, you want to talk about that, or any of you, you for can, that matter? You can pretty much uh, use anything artificial. Nothing. Nothing is. Nothing lies. <laughs> nothing lies. Really? Okay. You got to use artificial bait. Okay. Sure. So everybody's on the same playing field, yeah. I guess that way, right? All right. So. Uh, the the competition uh, you started talking about how that how that works and so how you go from point A to point B and it, it is on a point system and based on the number of the pounds or how do they calculate Correct. that a uh, fish that you catch? So basically the the biggest five that they catch they'll bring them into the scales and whatever those fish weigh per day that'll carry on to their next day weight so they'll go back out on the second day of the tournament and do the same process over try to catch five big fish and bring them back in and then they'll weigh that total weight if they make it to the last day it'll be the top 10 cut i believe mm -hmm. and they'll be fishing against just 10 kids or 10 different boats as far as that final day goes and i'll try to do the same process again to, uh, to crown a winner out of it yeah so it's whoever had the total weight out of all three days so unlike other sports where you have a district and regional competition correct. it's different with this right uh -huh, yeah uh -huh. and then but there is a state level uh, championship. Yes, yeah. yes sir. Uh -huh. And you guys have had, you know, success along that line. Talk about that and uh, competing to get to the next level on the state or whatever. You know, how, let's talk about again. I think you may have already mentioned it, but how you have progressed to get to where you're going to be going next week. Progressing to where we're going next week. Uh, we won this. We won a state open on Percy Priest, mm -hmm. and then we also was able to do good enough in the state championship to boost us up in the 10th place for the top 10 points in the state. Okay, and so that qualified you for this one. Okay, <clears throat> and this is this is a big deal. So, uh, what's uh, what's been the most exciting part of the competition in your career so far? For me, it's uh, winning that Percy Priest. It was a it's awesome like to win on. And being able to yeah how about you Wesley um he's probably right that or the state championship or I mean this year alone we've had a very good year I mean we can't complain when I mean, we worked our tails off to get where we are um, we put more time together on the water this year than we ever have and uh, us the way we work together I think it just makes us a great team and that's where it's leading up to this and this weekend, I think we're going to do pretty well, and I just hope that we can work together and show off up there. Right. Does anybody ever fish individually? Are you always 
go as a team when, when you're competing? You're usually supposed to go as a team, but if, if something happens to like your partner or something like before the tournament, they, they'll let you fish by yourself, but yeah, you usually fish as a team though. So is it always a two member team or is it more than that or ever? Or it's just two. It's, it's two at a time. Yes, so, so in your fishing uh, program, you'll have several different teams then I guess Correct. at times, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So how many how many fishermen, anglers do you usually have in your you know, on your fishing pro in your fishing team program? How many do y'all have in y'all's club? Probably about 12 to 15 anglers. 12 to 15 yeah. Yeah. Club. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, boys and girls that yes, compete sir. in this yes, too. Sir. So um, that's interesting because uh, you know this is a program that as you said is not recognized as much it's coming uh -huh. on and it's becoming more popular and recognized and that is a good thing uh, for sure tournaments outside the state that you might fish in uh, that maybe you have or uh, would hope to fish in or other than maybe what we talked about this, this, one, this one's coming up it's gonna be out mm -hmm. somewhere it's going to be in, well, it will be in, in Dayton, Tennessee, so it will be in, in the state. Mm -hmm. But outside the state, where would you want to go? What's like that? Any tournaments we want to go to. It, anyone you want to go to, right? You can just, you can compete in whatever you sign up for or qualify yeah, for. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, okay. So that's that's good. Um, the fishing season, it's pretty much a year round thing. Year round. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, how about that wintertime fishing? Is that. Is, uh, we love it. That's winter winter time. That's <laughs> time. Really? Yeah. yeah. We, we definitely love the wintertime fishing. Yeah. Wintertime till about. Uh, till they get on bed on the lake. Then, then, we, then we start to drop off. <laughs> <laughs> we can't see them as good as some of the other guys. And... Yeah. So your goal as a competitive fisherman, obviously you want to win this tournament coming up. Yes, how sir. many how many fishermen do you expect to have to be competing against in this one coming up? Uh, 250 to 300 boats, so that's six, 700 kids somewhere around in there. Yeah, so the competition is pretty stiff, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. And this is the top anglers, top 250 anglers in the country. So do you ever, when you're fishing, like most of us, do you ever come up empty? When you don't really catch anything or not enough all or whatever, the all the time. It, it's, really, it's a humbling experience. <laughs> is there any secret? If there is, you're not going to tell me. What is there a secret? I'm going to ask it anyway. Is there a secret to being a successful fisherman? I mean, tell me. I mean, really, is it? Is there some trick to it or what? Or skill? I'm no the skill. Good at twitching the minna. <laughs> uh, <laughs> twitching the minna. Yeah, huh? yeah, okay. Good at it. All right. <laughs> Okay, we may not need a live demonstration on that. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll have to sign everybody up for uh, lessons on that. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll charge for it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right. So, what's your what's your goal after uh, after you graduate? Your ambition? What do you want to do? Can you make this a career even? Um, I plan to go to college and fish. I've got a few schools I am picking out to go to. Um, then maybe after college, one day go to the big leagues fish in the elite series or starting the Bassmaster Opens. That's the goal, but if that don't work out, uh, I'm uh, going to go to school to be a wildlife biologist and do that if that doesn't work out. Yeah. I'm still going to fish. Yeah, Mason, how about you? I'm also planning on going to college. I've got a, I've got a few I'm looking at right now and I'm going to plan on pursuing fishing as well. Okay. So you're always going to dabble in fishing, I guess, aren't you, yeah, uh, Casey? Yeah, I'd say it'll probably be a lifelong uh, endeavor, for say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So any, uh, well, I know you want to talk about your sponsors and thank them and the uh -huh. people who support you. Uh, and I know you get a lot of support from just the community, but you have sponsors that back you, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have a ton of different sponsors throughout the community. Uh, We'd like to greatly thank each and every one of them that has donated and supported this fishing team. Uh, they, without the y'all, it would be almost impossible for them to be able to run around and do what they do as far as getting the experience of this. Um, we'd also like to thank the people at the Bass Nation High School. Uh, they they do all do a great job as far as putting together the events, running them. They put in countless and tireless hours to make sure these kids have got scholarship opportunities and just different opportunities in fishing in general. That's terrific. So uh, we want to wish you guys the very best of luck, and uh, we hope you bring, bring back the trophies or, or whatever they give you. I guess it's trophies, <laughs> it's right? Big. We yeah. hope we're hoping. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are there cash prizes with this too, or is it there just is. awards? Our place is, I think it's ten thousand dollars. Oh, wow, ten thousand yes, dollars. Okay. 
Well, that's we, we may come see you and do a follow up on that. <laughs> we won't, we'll just charge you. We won't charge you the whole amount. You know. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. All right, uh, guys, thank you so much for being with us. And these guys here, and you're going to be part of it too uh, as the boat captain, right? Yes, sir. And yes, how about uh, your dad, Jeff, and are they going to be there? They'll, they'll be there as well. Uh, dad will be probably helping with the actual tournament people, uh, getting things together and just making sure it's they've got extra hands there as far as uh, it being run right. Uh, basically, my job is just going to be to chauffeur them around. <laughs> These two right here are the ones that's uh, going to be bringing home the, the gold or whatever you want to call it. They're Mason Taylor and Wesley Kent representing the DeKalb fishing team competing in the Strike King Bassmaster High School National Championship. And that tournament's coming up August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd on Lake Chickamauga at Dayton, Tennessee. Guys, thank you so much for being with us today. I'll give you the last word. Anything else you want to say that maybe we haven't covered that you'd like to say before we wrap it up here? We'll start with you, Casey. Well, I'd just like to re, re, uh, re thank the sponsors and all the people in this community that's doing what they have for this fishing team. Because, like I said, without y'all, it we, we, we wouldn't be possible for us. Okay, and... With, uh, Mason. We definitely like to thank all the sponsors and the, my parents for constantly pushing us and being over the fishing team and letting us have this opportunity. Okay, and Wesley? Uh, I'd just like to say I thank the good Lord above for making everything possible. Um, I'd like to thank all our sponsors in the community that, uh, you know, that make this possible and my parents, of course. They, uh, they do a lot for us and uh, they keep pushing us every time and and uh, I would like to thank Jake Davis and David Lowry for making everything possible with Tennessee Bass Nation. And, of course, Bass, of course. And uh, that's all I got. Okay. Guys, good luck. We wish you the best. We're proud of you. I know you'll represent us well. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you.